A United Nations laissez-passer (UNLP or LP) is a diplomatic travel document issued by the United Nations under the provisions of Article 7 of the 1946 Convention on the Privileges and Immunities of the United Nations in its offices in New York and Geneva, as well as by the International Labour Organization (ILO). The UNLP is issued to UN and ILO staff as well as staff members of international organizations such as the WHO, the IAEA, the World Tour Tourism Organization, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization Preparatory Commission, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW, the World Trade Organization, the International Monetary Fund, the International Organization for Migration IOM, and the World Bank. The document is written in English and French. The UNLP is a valid travel document, which can be used like a national passport in connection with travel on official missions only. However, UNLP holders often encounter immigration officials who are unfamiliar with the document and require them to show a national passport in addition. As with national passports, some countries, regions accept it for entry without the need for a visa e.g., Kenya, the United Kingdom, Schengen Area, Lebanon, etc., while other countries may require a visa before it can be accepted for entry to the country depending on the nationality of the UNLP holder. Most officials hold a blue UNLP up to D1 level, which is similar in legal status to a service passport with limited diplomatic immunity. A red UNLP is issued to particularly high officials D2 and above, and confers the full diplomatic immunity analogous to that afforded to a diplomatic passport holder. <laughs> Name and signature page A data page has a visual zone and a machine-readable zone. The visual zone has a photograph of the holder, data about the passport, and data about the LP holder much similar to a normal passport. The nationality and place of birth of the passport holder is not mentioned in a UNLP, but the UN is used in fields similar to issuing country. Photograph Type of document, which is LP for laissez passer code of the issuing organization, which is UNO, UNA, for United Nations Organization, Agency. Laissez passer no Surname Given names Title, job title Date of birth Sex Official of UNO, UNA for United Nations Organization, Agency Date of issue Date of expiry Authority United Nations, Nations Unis followed by the code of the issuing city, e.g. GVA for Geneva Signature on the opposite page the first line of a machine-readable zone which is at the bottom of the page of the passport contains a letter to denote the type of travel document which is despite the laissez-passer status, it is P for passport, followed by the code normally used for the citizenship of the passport holder but here, UNO, UNA, for United Nations Organization, Agency, and the name, surname first, then given name or names of the passport holder. When visa are placed in a UNLP, the same practice should be followed, and in the nationality field, UNO, UNA should be placed. This guideline however is often not observed. Topic EUNLP Effective the 3rd of September 2012 all applicants for new LPs received by the UN office in Geneva UNOG will be issued the new EUNLPs and there will be no renewal of current UNLPs the new EUNLP is fully compliant with international standards established by the International Civil Aviation Organization These include the use of biochip technology, facial recognition identification and employs strict photographic standards for passport documents. All EUNLPS 
will be issued with a five-year fixed duration, regardless of contract expiration and will not contain dependents. The validity period of the new EU NLP cannot be extended and additional visa pages cannot be added. Existing LPs retain the validity date stipulated in the document. Topic: <laughs> Limitations of a laissez-passer compared to a passport. The UN laissez-passer is not treated as a valid passport for the purposes of obtaining an electronic travel authorization to visit Canada. Topic: <laughs> Persons not entitled to a laissez-passer. Some categories of persons employed by or affiliated with the United Nations are not normally entitled to receive a laissez-passer, e.g., goodwill ambassadors, messengers of peace, consultants of United Nations organizations and funds and programs, experts on missions for the United Nations, and individual and institutional contractors. However, in accordance with Section 22 of the Convention on the Privileges and Immunities, individuals who are designated as experts on missions for the UN may be issued a United Nations certificate, which is not a legal travel document but serves to certify that the holder is traveling on official business on behalf of the UN or specialized agency or related organization. See also European Union laissez-passer Interpol travel document Details data and images of the UN laissez-passer on Prado